Hey Summit family, uh, this is Dallin Ma, uh, co-founder and chief elevate officer here at Summit Energy. Uh, we're here at a home uh, in Massachusetts, New England that just went solar and we are so pumped. Uh, they got permission to operate or PTO as we call it in our world. Uh, all that means is that they get to turn on their solar system and run their home off uh, renewable energy, which we're so excited about and grateful. Uh, so we're here at the customer's home. Uh, they got the end phase inverter system, uh, great inverter system and we're actually going to walk you through how to turn that on today. Uh, it's actually a pretty simple process, uh, much simpler than you would think. Um, so let's go ahead and walk through how we're going to go about doing that today. Um, if you come over here, uh, this is the main disconnect that disconnects the solar from the power going into the home into the meter. Uh, you can see up here it says on, it's etched in, and there it says off. Uh, if you grab this uh, switch right here and you move it up into the on position, uh, that's the first step. You've now engaged that the solar can push power on into your home. Uh, the next step is to come over to the end phase combiner box. Uh, there's two latches on the right side of the box. Uh, as you can see those, if you go ahead and open those, uh, this will open uh, the combiner box where all the inverters are pushing power into this box and then goes into your home. Uh, and you can see there's multiple breaker switches uh, and also these, these lights. Uh, these lights, when you open it, will be flashing red. Uh, that means that the system is ready to turn on and you'll need to flip these breakers. Uh, really exciting time. This is probably the, the last step to getting the system up and running. Uh, so on the breakers, you can see there's an off and an on. Uh, that's important. You just want to make sure that you flip the, all those breakers uh, to the on position. Um, and that will get the combiner box set up so the power can go from the solar panels. Uh, the disconnect's now lifted to allow our power to go back into the home. Uh, and that disconnect will also keep you safe. If firefighters or anyone, emergency responders need to come to your house, they can shut that off and it turns the solar off instantly. Uh, and that's what the reason why they put it in there is for, for safety reasons and keep your home safe. Uh, and then also the lastly, there's those lights. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and close up this combiner box and latch those switches. And that is good uh, for that first step of doing it on the outside of your home. Now the next step is to go in. Uh, sometimes there's a breaker switch inside that main breaker panel. Uh, you'll go into a home that should be labeled as solar. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and flip that breaker switch on. Uh, and once that step is done, congratulations, you've got PTO from the utility and your system is ready uh, to be on and producing and saving you money uh, from the second you turn that on. Uh, and you can see the meter here, it's actually kind of cool. The power is running through this combiner box through the disconnect connect actually into the meter and your meter will start running backwards uh, if your home isn't either the power and all that power is being pushed onto the grid uh, and given back to the utility and they're start banking those and allow you to build credit so you can pull and use power at night or during the winter when there isn't any sun hours uh, and that's kind of how the net metering program that you signed up with with solar uh, and how the utilities work with this. Um, it usually takes about one to two billing cycles for the, those credits to show on your bill. So if you get your first bill and it doesn't show the Chris, uh, credits instantly, don't be too worried about that. Uh, because like I said, it gives that usually 30 to 60 day uh, billing period uh, for the solar to start generating, start producing and start showing up on your bill. And you start seeing those credits um, from the net metering um, and that meter from the utility. Uh, and then lastly is the question you're probably going to ask yourself, it's turned on, it's running, how do I make sure that it stays running and how do I check on my system? Uh, and the best way to go about doing that is actually through the Summit Energy app. Uh, and we've developed a great app uh, that you can monitor your solar system, uh, you'll go to the end phase and light portal, sign up, uh, input your information, uh, any information you need on your system we have. We've already set up the monitoring, we've labeled all the panels, made sure that it's input there. You just go and put your information, sign up for that Enlighten monitoring app, uh, and then you can go in and monitor that through that portal or also through the Summit Energy app, uh, which also allows if there's ever issues with your system, don't worry about it because Summit's got you. You know, we're a family here at Summit, uh, and we don't just install you and walk away. We're going to be here for the life of the system for the next 25 years, and you can report service calls. You can send us referrals if you've enjoyed it. You're getting savings. You want to send your friends and family. Uh, and it's a great way to communicate with Summit and monitor your solar system. Uh, so that's the step to process to turn your system on after you receive PTO. Any questions, we're all a call away. Uh, and as we always say, we Summit together and you're part of the Summit family. So we're so excited. This is a great occasion. Uh, your house is now running off renewables and you're going to start saving money. We're so excited for you.